CCX Sports presents coverage of high school boys lacrosse. Today it's a matchup between the Rogers Royals and the Osseo Park Center team. OPC coming off a big win Friday night against Maple Grove. John Jacobson, Dan Ficken here at Park Center today, a home game for OPC, and they are 3-3 three and three in the season. Certainly a nice win for Coach Darren Nelson's group beating a Maple Grove team that was really good last year and took it to them a year ago. They come back, get a good win last night to even up their record. Yeah, big pivotal win for them. They've been kind of foundering. They win and they lose and win and they lose. But this is a big one to beat Maple Grove. It's a rivalry game. It's a conference game. Uh, they got murdered by them last year. And they really took over in the fourth quarter. And Coach Nelson thinks this might be the turning point in the season. And this game will be a good follow-up for them to really get going and make a charge in the conference. Rogers coming off an 11-3 and record a year ago. They're off to a three and one start so far, although the last game a loss and fairly one sided against a very good St. Michael Albertville team. Uh, it was really a sound thrashing. I was out there watching it and uh, it wasn't pretty and they played a pretty weak schedule up to this point, um, but they knew that was coming. This is the game that you rebound from. They took, a, took it as a positive loss. They know the holes they got to fill. OPC is a very good team to rebuild that and uh, get them back on the right track. Interesting matchup between the coaches. Kyle Ficken and his fourth year's head coach at Rogers going against Darren Nelson, who was his coach with the Osseo club team the year before OPC became a varsity team in the spring of 2007. Kyle played in that 06 team, a really good club team that, that Osseo had, and, and Darren was his coach. Yeah, they uh, they actually played for the state championship club lacrosse that senior year, and uh, but they were all built the program. Darren was there from the start. I'm so happy to see him still here. He's learned and grown. He's been a stalwart for this program, and Kyle respects him immensely, and they've been trying to get this game for a long time, and so we got a mentor and an alumni playing, and uh, they both told me one thing. They don't want to lose to each other. Right. Let's look at our key players today, starting with Rogers, Michael Van Stelton, senior, really good player for the Royals. He really has been a three-year player for him last year. He really started to emerge. He's long, lanky, strong, got a good shot, has a good sense of the game, though. Michael tends to get the goal they need to get him charged up and going. He knows when to pick it up and play. And uh, he knows he's the stir that, you know, they're the straw that stirs the drink for them. And he's going to be a very important part for the Royals today. Well, three years sounds like an impressive record of varsity play. How about our OPC key player? Damon Lingenson is in his fifth year of varsity and still not a senior. Yeah. Junior's a really good player for, for OPC. Well, and, and he's actually one of the better players in the state of Minnesota for his age. Uh, he's put up a nice year so far. He's got 19 points, but uh, you'll notice him. He's got moves. He can dodge. He's got a great shot, gets his heads up, makes moves, and uh, he can really put the ball in the net. And you'll have a fun time watching him because he got passion for the game. Coach says, I'll never try to take that out of him because he just wants to win so bad. Badly. And I saw it last night against Maple Grove. I'm sure I'm going to see it against the Royals today. Should be a great matchup here. Beautiful Saturday afternoon at Park Center. It's Osseo Park Center hosting Rogers. And we'll have it for you next right here on CCX. It's Rogers in Osseo Park Center of Boys Lacrosse for Saturday in May. Beautiful day here at Park Center High School for this matchup between the Royals and Osseo Park Center. One thing it, well, we talked to uh, coaches before the game, but to, didn't get a chance to touch on in the pregame. Rogers will join this conference, Dan, in the fall yeah. of 2019. So this will be a, a conference game two years from now. 
Here's a look at uh, Darren Nelson, who's been with this program since it was a, a club program in the early 2000s. It's now officially in its 12th year as a varsity team, but his, he was with the program for five years before that, and uh, he's got a good group of players here in uh, 2018. And Kyle Ficken in his fourth year as head coach of the Rogers program has really brought the, the program along uh, nicely since he took over and uh, resembles strongly at least one person in the uh, stadium today, Dan Ficken. <laughs> That's my boy, you betcha. But Kyle played for for, uh, for Darren as we talked about in the, in the pregame and uh, this this will be fun, I know, for the for the two of them. I know they want to win for their teams, but they, they want to win to beat the other guy as well. Yeah, they were pretty damned about that, but I'll tell you what, that. Uh, I think it's kind of cool now. We're seeing the progression of lacrosse going across the state here now where kids are coming back and they're getting coaching jobs and improving the, the quality of lacrosse across the state. And uh, OPC has been a regular. We were right in the state championship game last uh, club year. And Rogers a building program out in the suburbs. So you can see how it's growing. We talked to, about Rogers joining this conference. Buffalo and St. Michael Albertville had also applied for consideration to join the Northwest Suburban. That was voted down mm -hmm. uh, by a majority of the schools, so neither the, the Bison or the Knights will be joining the Northwest Suburban unless at some point later they are placed there by the Minnesota State High School League should the Mississippi 8 conference dissolve, which it very it's uh, well could. Yeah. yeah, but Rogers will have one more year in the Mississippi 8, and then they'll join uh, this group. It'll be 15 teams starting in the... Uh, fall of 2019 for all sports. Well, they're part of the Elk River School District. Elk River's yeah. been in the Northwest Suburban. It's a good move for them, and Rogers is very excited about moving over. It's a little more recognition, a little bit more prestige for Northwest Suburban, not to, you know, degrade the Mississippi 8. But, uh, uh, and it makes travel easier. And I think there's some natural rivalries there too, John. Yeah. Starters for today for Rogers, Jake Bourne, Jackson Melquist, Garrett Carlson are the attacks. Midfielders are Dylan Mertz, Connor O'Neill, and Mike Van Stelton. On D, David Bauer, Trey Trokel, and Hunter Hansen, and Peter Hoffman is the goalie. For Osseo Park Center, their attacks, Griffin Garrity, Caleb Love, and Chris Curris. In the midfield, it's Carter Compton, Damon Lingison, and Andrew Ockrey. And on D for them, Sam Shaleen, Nathaniel Love, and Bryce Donahue and in goal for OPC today is Ben Peterson. We are ready for opening face off. The Rogers Royals in black, silver and blue. OPC in the white, orange and green and we are underway. And Rogers with the opening possession. Well, this is a start. Good start for Rogers. And OPC, I thought it's got a little bit better face off uh, man. He's won over 50% of his, uh, in fact, 70% of his uh, uh, face off. So that's a good start for the Royals right now. OPC back on defense. Dylan Mertz holding it out high, gets it to Connor O'Neill. O'Neill making a run toward the net, dodges a defender, bounces a shot, save made, rebound is in. O'Neill, the junior, putting it in. Rogers on the board, 37 seconds into the game. 11th grader coming through. You'll see a nice move here as he splits the D. He gets the first shot up, but he follows it up. And before he gets into the crease, makes a nice move, brings it left, brings it back right, and uh, beats Peterson for the first goal of the day. But we get, one of the nice things we got going in this game, too, they're pretty evenly matched attack and midfielders. They've got some very good players on both teams. And as this game progresses, you're going to start seeing some really nice moves being made on both teams here. So a quick start for the Royals. And now OPC getting possession here for the first time. Lingenson is 13. Again, off to Carter Compton has really had a nice season for them as well. Left side, it's Caleb Love. Back behind the goal, Garrity. And they work that perimeter. Curris with it now. Curris has been a nice surprise for them. He's a third leading scorer in the team, or fourth leading scorer in the team, but he's got some key goals, and there we go. He got past Trokel, slipped back behind the net, and that helps set up the goal. Dan, and it's tied up at one. 
Kuris makes, look at this move. He just takes the D right off his feet. He's got a wide open angle in front of the net, and he does a great job of going low and uh, uh, beating Peter Hoffman, the, the Royals goalie. It's just a nice move. Last night, we watched uh, OPC play Maple Grove. Chris Kuris got some key goals there coming down the stretch uh, to put them ahead there late in the game, which uh, uh, resulted in a nice victory against Maple Grove for OPC. So two possessions and two goals so far. And OPC wins possession as Ockery takes it for OPC. Drops it, keeps it alive and gets it back. It's knocked down, ball up in the air. And OPC gets it back, it's Lingison. Lingison turns back to his right. free in the middle got away there from Amo nice dodge move but brought it back in the middle and settled it down nice play Compton number eight nice move to get back to his left fires it wide and it's out of play and Compton is leading score for OPC right now he's put up some nice points 21 points with uh, 19 goals uh, the Royals are going to have to keep an eye on both him and Lingerson, so you'll see them come up, play tight pressure on both those two at the top. Here comes Compton again. Turns back to his left, to his right again, lost it, picks it back up, lost it again, and then Rogers gets the ground ball, and back come the Royals on the attack. Out of play, and it's over. You know, it's still Rogers with the possession here as they put back in play by Jacob Bourne. Here's Bourne trying to work his way from out in front, looking to get the pass, but pretty well covered was Garrett Carlson. And the OPC ball. And now turned over to OPC. Now, one of the big problems Rogers has had is has been the, the turnovers this year. They've, you know, Given up a little bit too many turnovers that really cost them the other night against St. St. Michael Albertville, so they're going to be working on that. Holy Peterson advancing it up to midfield. Now, ball came loose, ground ball trying to scoop it up for Rogers as McCarthy. Big scramble forward, and finally it's Rogers controlling again with Bourne. Pass and a shot. Peterson to save, but we had a whistle. And we got an offside call against the Royals, so that'll be a change of possession. One of the long sticks came across the midfield line, and that is a no-no. Just little mental mistakes like that, John, can cost you a game. Ethan Brash in the open field across midfield. Looked back, and now we'll go ahead with it on that right side to Curris. Behind the net. And the cross at Garrity. Now he'll come up. Spins back. And push pretty good. Garrity maintaining possession. Marked up there by Bauer. And back out it comes to Compton. Compton will fire one. And a great save there. Nicely controlled. Dan by Hoffman. Yeah, nice save. Compton, though, again, just fling it. He's just a little too far out. He could get his arms right. extended, but, you know, these these two goalies are pretty good. You're not going to squeeze one in on him there. And uh, apparently we had a penalty on OPC. But, you know, again, that, that kind of shows OPC's issue. A little bit too much individual play. Not good shot, shot selection. I realize you're a good player, but they got to move the ball around. Only three guys touch the ball in that possession, John. So OPC has a man up here. And they've been trying to improve that this year, too, taking advantage. They got a couple goals against St. Michael Albertville with the man up. Right, Rogers here, man up, and a shot and a goal. It's Michael Van Stelton who scores. Well, we talked about his nice shot season. capability, yeah. 
He just takes a nice rip. You can't let him get his arms extended. He just blew that right by Peterson there. And that's when you get a man up, that's what you got to do. You got to take advantage and put the ball in the net. And uh, the Royals did a good job there. They got it to the right guy. As we said, you know, if you want a goal, he's probably the guy you want to go to. Now we're just over four minutes into the first quarter and now two to one. Rogers in front. Good face off win for New Miller for Rogers. You know, I was kind of talking to the coach at Rogers, which I do frequently, but I was saying, you know, I think OPC might have a better uh, Fogo than your faceoff guy. And Kyle says, wait a minute, don't discount my guy. So far, it's been pretty even. Carlson's pass missed for Rogers in the turnover to OPC. And Peterson will start this attack again for Osseo Park Center. And he'll keep on the attack and then gives the short pass up. I don't think he a nice takeaway yeah. by Rogers. Trey Fredrickson. And a shot in. Stop made off the fire from Bourne. Bourne got a good opportunity, but uh, yes, he did. I think Dylan Mertz is open on the back door on the far side. I think that hurt the goalie. It hit him on the foot. Bourne getting it to Van Stelton. Now Stelton goes low this time. Missed the net out of play. Still Rogers possession. Lost by Melquist, but he's able to pick it back up. Ball up in the air, shot, and the save nice made. Save. Heard from point blank range by Peterson on the shot by Garrett Carlson. And there's a shot in the goal. So they, Rogers getting it back quickly, and they put it in for the second goal for Van Stelden. It's three to one. Well, they had a turnover in the back, the Royals did, but then three guys came on the ball, and so they could win that ground ball war, and they brought it back and uh, got it out front to Mike Stelton. Peterson already made a couple saves, and he's trying to get back in position. And you, you can see him getting bent there. He really raised a the sweat there, trying to get him back in position with the ball changing. But Van Stelton, again, stepping up, seeing the opening. The goalie wasn't quite ready, and ripped it into the lower corner. Giving Rodgers a three to one lead here. Give it up on an illegal procedure. And Just, so it goes right to Rogers. Yeah, give it up about a fight. Yeah. Possession's always so key in lacrosse. And now Rogers trying to build on a three to one lead. Carlson with a now passing to the middle. On the move is Alex Carroll out in front. Stop, all loose behind the net. Nice job on the rumble pickup by Melquist. What a shot, this goes wide. Out of play, it's over to Osseo Park Center. You look at yeah, uh, Peterson's, Peterson's going back into his net limping. Here's the shot we think he got hurt on right there. Oh, right on the thigh. Got it right on the thigh with that big tight muscle up top going, yeah, he's hurt. We'll see if OPC calls some timeout when the ball comes back through, maybe. Rogers turns over Osseo Park Center again. A good job by Bauer. Here come the Royals. Nice pass in front of oh. Peterson. Are they huge save? <laughs> Able to take it away from Mertz, who is point blank and received the pass, and Peterson stops Mertz. That was epic. That was a word. Now Osseo Park Center will try to get that offensive attack going again. Compton moving in deep. Back out it comes to Lingison. It's a gamble. Lingison moving, firing a shot and a goal. And it's three to two. Well, 
We highlighted him for a reason, didn't we, John? Both of our highlight stars coming through again for their teams. Lingerson coming around just gets enough of an opening and get it, get his arms extended and just rips it past Hoffman. Just a nice shot in the upper corner. Boy, hits it on a dime. Well, we told you, he could dodge and he could shoot. And he just showed it on that one right there, getting it back to a one-goal deficit for OPC. And, and the key to that thing was that save by, by Peterson, John. I mean, that was just a massive save. Got control of it, and they, they took it out and scored. Rogers wins control of the faceoff. Amo with it for Rogers. And this team gets set up and give the pass off to Mertz. Yeah, but they're going to, they need to work on control now, possession, without doing a turnover. You know, make good passes, don't put them in the dirt, get it to the right guy, and don't force things. Right side it goes to Bourne. Bourne needs it back off, right side. Back it comes. Born now to Melquist. Quick pass out high. Here comes O'Neill. He scored the first goal. Sharp pass to the side of that. Peterson, another big stop this time on Born. <sighs> and Osteo Park Center taking a hard hit was Tharp. Yeah, we see a nice pass right there. Good opening. Takes a shot. And Peterson, he's just holding tight on that short corner, and he's just doing a great job as far as closing off anything. He's made some key plays for OPC right now, John, which they've needed. They've been getting scored on quite a bit. And uh, to have him step up and start shutting down some high-powered offenses, uh, which Rodgers has, there are, you know, they're averaging about uh, 13 goals a game. So those are big. Now Rogers a uh, man down. Braden Matusik, player out for Rogers, and see if Osseo Park Center can take advantage here. Compton high with a shot. And they got it back. Hustle by the goalie. Good job by Hoffman. Get back there by Hoffman. Yep. I'm liking these goalies today, John. They're both playing really well. Yes. Out of midfield, a collision. And a ball taken away. A good check by OPC. Now, Osseo Park Center back on the attack. Nate Musial with it. Well, these uh, varsity kids, Musial is a, is a Park Center kid. He's right at home, most of these guys. Osseo, high school students. Yep. Played hockey. Yeah, and a terrific hockey player. Yeah. Had a very good year this year. Shot away and fired high over Hoffman and well over the Rogers net and out of play. Yeah, both these teams, you know, offensive, they've really come out here and pass in front and then a little trouble gaining control of it was Musial. And he's got it again. Good play right there. Pull it out, reset. There's Compton spins, thought about shooting and about got a few more yards. Backing his way in now, pass right side to Curris. Curris in tight and yep. Troll right on him and then a shot away and a goal. Curris able to, hey, you almost use Trocal <laughs> a little bit as a screen and yeah. able to get it past Hoffman and in. Well, here, you know, I'll tell you what, Curris has done a very nice job last night watching him. And again, he's becoming that point where he can beat this long stick, which is unusual for a short stick to be able to beat a long stick. And he's done it twice so far and beaten him handily. And a nice twist of a shot. Chris came in, like I said, last night against Maple Grove a couple goals. Today he's doing the same thing and uh, getting this game tied up. They weathered the storm of Rodgers coming back with some big saves by Peterson and then their offense took over and uh, I would suspect you're going to see that ball go down to Kyrus a little bit more as long as uh, uh, number five for the Royals is there. So 3-3 three, three now. Late in the first quarter. Yeah, 
And again, Rogers giving off a turnover and uh, it cost him again. Jensen on the move, Jake Jensen for Rogers. Moves it down the left side, stops. Takes the pass back to Van Stelton. He's got a couple of goals today. Further down, they work it back behind the net and then to the near side. Carroll back out. Here's Van Stelton. Uh -oh. Finds an opening, fires a shot and a goal. And that would be the hat trick for Mr. Van Stelton there. They set him up for a dodge up tight and they all came back in and give him an opening on the right side as he cleanly beats the D there and rips a shot lower left hand corner that, you know, Peterson really didn't have a chance on, John. Nice setup. If he keeps going, you keep feeding him. I think this one's going to come down in the last minute. What yeah, do you think? Gonna, it's a tight one so far. 4 <laughs> 3 here. With a minute 25 to play in the opening quarter. Rogers had possession. Now it's lost. Scramble between the teams for it. Who's going to pick up this ground ball? And finally controlled by Rogers as Jensen takes it. Okay, good decision. Gets it in the box, pulls it back. Pass the side of that, a shot away. Peterson makes the save, breaks the ball back into himself, and gets control for OPC. Boy, he's used that chest protector of his to, to good use today. I'll tell you what, he's not afraid of anything. He just lets it hit and drop, and he gets possession again. And uh, not a good clear, but boy, I like the way he's playing. Here's Tyson McCarthy for Rogers. Bumped away from him by Adam Plumhoff. And good possession, yeah, good play by Plumhoff. Gets possession back for his team. Yeah, he stayed right on him all the way and uh, got the turnover. Bryce Donahue. Donahue number 33 turns back to his right. Oh, nice pass. Gets the pass ahead. The brash. Yeah, talking to Coach Nelson here, he said he's, he's for the first time in a lot of years, he's got a good set of second teamers, and we're starting to see some come in. Compton with a shot and missed the net. We've seen Brash and Musial come in, but uh, it's good to be able to send some, you know, a whole bunch of bodies in there, especially with the weather like it is. It's hot out there. You're going to need to rest some guys. Lingitson lost, and Rogers able to clear it. This ball whistle, and that'll be the end. Of the first quarter, an entertaining first quarter of play it was. Rogers four, Osseo Park Center three. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. Second quarter action right here on CCX in just a moment. Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college. So I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and, and it paid off. <laughs> I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. I could be more, that one day I would make people smile. It's a little warm to be Spider-Man today, but that guy, <laughs> he's not afraid to once a superhero. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Always a superhero. Oh, on the <laughs> there map. we go. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> little warm today. Interesting first quarter. Both these teams have come out really firing. There's been a lot of shots, been a lot of saves by the goalies. 
And uh, definitely uh, both teams are looking maybe to play a little bit of a fast break, run and gun type game today. Yeah. yeah good, good start so far to this one. And I think uh, each team's got things that they liked about what happened the first 12 minutes things to say hey we can do this a little better boys yeah yeah well rogers with the turnovers that that they got to stop they got to when you get the ball get it off to the next guy before the double team comes with opc spread the ball around a little bit more a little too much individual too many not some real good shot selections here so we'll see if they get those rectified here in the second quarter i was there They self win for Rogers. Take it by New Miller. Now deep, still controlled by Rogers. Now working into the side of the net. Pass out front, a shot and a goal. Boy, nice play. Dylan Mertz, nice play coming through 27. Coming toward the net, gets it clean. I think he got it. Oh, yeah. Over to number four. Bourne gets the goal, and there's the, the pass. And the shot and the delivery. Yeah, pass by Melquist, 22, getting it to Bourne for the goal. So 20 seconds in, Rogers on the board. That scored 37 seconds into the first quarter. Getting it back to a two-goal lead. In a game like this, right here, these face-offs will be really critical. If you can put three or four, and especially wins, and especially with the rate you're scoring, that's big time. Possession for Rogers. Emo with it. Emo. Bring it back out, Ben Stelton had three goals in the first quarter. Born back for Melquist. Now Carlson back out, he comes with the pass. And back to Carlson. Passed Melquist, missed it. Out of play over to Osseo Park Center. Oh, they get another possession, they get another try, and then just a missed pass. Peterson, short pass. Brash will lead it up for Osseo Park Center. Dodges so one defender, then knocked away by the second. And Rogers gets it back as Bourne. Both checked it away. Now he's got possession. Rogers does, it's in Fisk that passed it back out here. Shot away by Carroll. And Peterson with a big stop. Oh, apparently he's shaking off his injury. I'll guarantee he'll be putting a nice back on that later tonight, but he's really stepped up to the plate. Done a nice job. Here's Jack White for OPC. Comes to the side of the OPC now to Garrity. Shot away here and a good save by Hoffman. Off the shot from Lingerson. Right now, OPC needs to settle down, move the ball around, get some open shots. Just don't stand there and dodge trying to create a shot for yourself all the time. Still possession for OPC here. Kiris, who's got two goals, has it right now. Behind the net to Lingison. Missed on the pass, trying to hit it to Caleb Love. Is that right? To the sideline, and Osseo Park Center regains possession again. Musio with it. To Compton. Usual into the cross of Brash, trying to go in front and picked off 
Not a good play uh -oh. by Joseph Clark. And then a giveaway back to Osseo Park Center. In front it comes. Hoffman makes one stop. And the whistle will be. Curious was in the right on it again and Oof. had a chance here. And a good stop by Hoffman. Oh, and then he gets the stick across and able to stop that. A great play here by Peter Hoffman. Hoffman stepped up nice. The attack here is coming in. Cut that angle down. We talk about that in hockey. The same thing's true in lacrosse. Hoffman with it. Nice clear by Rogers. They were patient when the triple team came. He got rid of the ball and then they moved it up to him moving forward. Braden Matuzak. Got their second two goal lead. They haven't been able to build it out to, to three yet. But perhaps here on this possession. Shot away but fired wide off the stick of Matuzak. Rogers quickly back on the attack. O'Neal was out high with the pass. Carroll. Max Carroll back behind the net to Mertz. Mertz, a little spin move. Still with it. Good pass. It missed high. So I guess not such a good pass. It's ended for the Tuesday. And the right idea and it rolled out. And it goes over to Osseo Park Center. Just to throw too far over a whole bunch of bodies. Tough to pick up coming across all the sticks sticking up. So it wasn't a good pass selection. I could see what he was doing. Right. But uh, good pressure by OPC's D, though. Especially the long stick in the back there. They really pressed hard and uh, really put pressure on Rodgers. And man, they coughed it up. Well, you said you were telling me before the game that was really the key for them to win last night against Maple oh. Grove is uh, the pressure they put on Maple Grove, especially late in that game, to to hold the lead and, and get the win. Yeah, yeah, it was real key. And they, they gained a lot of confidence. They've been having a tough time this year. And then they stopped down one of the better offenses in the league conference. That made a lot of difference. and. Uh, got him a big win. You see the flag down. I didn't see what was called, Dan. I didn't either. They're having a discussion about it. This could be a fairly serious penalty. Well, it's going to. It's going to OPC, possession-wise. Now, Flicken wants an explanation now. Of what exactly was was called? Well, that's a good sign. You like it when the ref puts his arm on your shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, but good for the ref. I mean, nice way to handle the situation. Just calm down. Let me explain it to you. This is what we saw. This is why we're calling what we're calling. Good play. We the Maple Grove OPC game was an emotional game because of the rivalry in that one. It it got a little tense last night. A lot of unsportsmanlike calls last night. So good. Calm things down. Let the players play. Lingus enhance it for Osseo Park Center. Behind the net, now comes Garrity, took the pass from Caleb Love. And now to Curis. This is dangerous. Puts it out in front, shot high, and a nice stop by Hoffman. Wow. By point blank, able to stop the shot by Caleb Love. And Rogers gets possession, oh, and then they give it away and pass to the sideline. Look at that save again. Boy, right in front. Little smack to the head there from the D, though, on that cage that disrupted the shot. But Hoffman still came up with a really nice save. But Rogers coming back turns it over again. Uh oh. Another opportunity for OPC. Curis goes low and then he scores. His third of the game, and it's five to four. <laughs> So far, John, Chris Curis has been the deciding fact. Look at this. Gets a nice look, fighting for the ball, gets it, and just brings it in nice and low, a low high, 
rung and uh, gets his third goal. And uh, he's really stepped up. And when we talk about Compton, we talk about, you know, Lingerson. But uh, Curious, actually, uh, I'll tell you what, he is has been a player. And uh, I haven't seen much of Caleb Lubb. Uh, he hasn't been out there too much, number seven in the backside, so I wonder if he's hurt. Well, no, he got stopped at that last chance just to be He was. This last okay. one. He was the one that, that fired them that say we looked at from, from Hoffman. Well, Rogers gets possession after the faceoff following the goal. We're nearing the midway point of the second quarter. Rogers still with the lead, one goal. Manning on the pass attempt. Just a giveaway by Melquis. It's out of play. Let's stay with Rogers. That will absolutely drive a coach nuts. Dropping balls like that. It's really been a problem for Rogers. Here comes Carlson now. Carlson with a shot, and Peterson another big save for OPC. Tracking down the ground ball, Van Stelden. And Rogers will hold possession. But Peterson yet another big stop for OPC. Keeps the margin of one for now. Here comes Van Stelton in some traffic. Has to give it back up on the pass. A little trouble there. And finally gathered back in by Derek Fisk. Van Stelton with it. Felt the pressure. Backs off with it now. Yeah, he got whacked a little bit. He's doing a little limp city. And now we'll give it up to Carroll. Right side shot away, bounced wide. And Rogers will hold possession. Look at that uh, last scoring chance. Peterson able to make a good stop on Carlson. Here comes Rogers again, pass off the stick of Carlson to the sideline. Out of play, it'll be OPC ball. Where Carlson was prime scoring position, just couldn't get. Couldn't quite get it on target here. In. Now, OPC is getting these turnovers, and they need to start capitalizing on them, and that ain't the way to do it right there. Bad cleared, little uh, reach too far. But they're, get, they're gonna get opportunities if Rogers keeps turning them over here and just settle down, get it down there, and just take it a goal at a time as you get the turnover. It's been a little bit too much rush, rush. Five yards, he needs five yards, he cannot be in front 20 of him. to go in the second. O'Neal to Carroll. Alex Carroll takes a little bump there from Noel Tharp. O'Neal left side, Carlson. Back to O'Neal. Carlson again. 22 is Melquist. Rogers just working that to perimeter. And then all the way back out high again to Connor O'Neill. Junior Mitty works his way in now. Turns, gives it back out. Long shot, bounced in nicely. Alex Carroll with the goal. I love Alex Carroll's reaction after he scored. Johnny kind of went, uh, okay. That was a long, long, far out shot. He made it count. You can see him here, he just remember, he got all extended, but he got it down on the ground and the bounce just beat Peterson. And he was screened a little bit too. It's tough seeing it come in, but sometimes that, ball, look at him, look at the reaction. He got like, whoa. That's one of those where if you don't score the goal, the coach is gonna probably pull you for taking a bad shot, <laughs> but if you score on it. So back to a two goal lead. For the Royals here. For Carroll, this is his second goal of the season. Van Stelton leads them in goals this year with 13. Born his second, he has nine. It's a two goal margin again, as they've had it mentioned a few times today. Never been up by more than two yet. But they do get this possession here as we wind down toward four minutes to play in the first half. Well, Rogers has been in this position before with a possession after going up on a two goal lead. Now they haven't been able to get that third goal. Big collision is a whack at Mertz who had 
the ball, and this is going to draw a whistle. You can see him slip on the turf there and lost his balance. And of course, the D was lunging already, so it was kind of a comedy of errors as that first slip happened. Elquist pass too high out to midfield collision there. And a push from behind by Rogers, so OPC will take possession. Really bad pass. That was kind of a tackle from behind, I guess, if you could call it that. So we'll see if Osseo Park Center can take advantage of advantage of the Rogers turnover. I'm paying attention to Lingenson and Compton. I think they ought to start paying attention to Curris now and just make sure they get a double team over on him because he's been beating whoever puts put with him uh, one on one. Now there's Coombs with the pass and and he get it back to Compton out of play and so it's turnover for Osceola Park Center. Rogers gets it, balls loose again and it's right back to OPC as Compton regains control. Going to work his way down against Neal, O'Neal rather, and oh my gets God, the pass dude. back out. Uh, you're seeing Compton extend his arm. That's normally a ward call where you can't push off. You got to keep your arm in tight. Now the refs haven't been calling it, but keep your eye on that and see if they start picking that up. But here we go with Curious again. Curious attacks and scores. <laughs> and it's six to five. Coach, they can't handle me one <laughs> on one. And he's got four of their five goals. <laughs> there was the first dodge right there. There was a second dodge right there in a long pull. Pulls himself in front and just whips a beautiful shot. Boy, he's he's been impressive today, boy. He's making some nice moves. He's hustling, and he takes advantage of every opportunity he gets. We're going to bring him out now, and he's going to be the face-off guy. Roger's been winning a number of them here. So again, Rogers unable to go to a three goal lead. OPC fighting back. New Miller pushing it ahead off the face off. Still loose. The whistle is to go against OPC. Push from behind without possession. Possession going over to Rogers. Jake Jensen with the pass to Carlson. Works back out. Pushing the back there, with Carlson able to get the pass to O'Neal. Oh. Nice dodge, shot away, oh. and a goal. Oh, what a great play by Carl O'Neal, the junior. And oh. it's seven to five. Oh, you bet. There was a nice celebration on a beautiful piece of work. The dodge was just amazing. Went left, right, and came back left, and just took him out of his shoes. Gets his arms extended, and just gets it off just in time as they were closing in. And, Peterson actually got a little bit of that as he as went in the upper part of the net, but you bet you celebrate after a shot like that. My gosh. Nice goal for Connor O'Neill. Whistle. He brings the cheers from the Oshawa Park Center. Bench now they're going to take time out here with 2.15 to go here in the first half. Rogers has never trailed in this game. They've had the lead most of the way. It's been tied up a couple of times, but well, you know, Park Center would like to, to close strong and get that down to one goal or perhaps tie it. Well, the good awesome. news for OPC, John, is that Rogers is, is still making turnovers. They just really haven't taken advantage of it yet, but they, the opportunity's there. The other advantage that OPC has, they've been in some tight games, close games. Rogers is not. They either blew people out or they got blown out. So this will be a test for the Royals to play in a tight game to see if they can keep the cool and play down, play collectively. OPC's got a real opportunity here. And like I said, last night, fourth quarter, put the clamps down, really stepped up. So we'll see what happens here through the rest of the first half and then uh, um, what they come out with in the second half. I think they're going to set up a possession situation. Now they got the ball, and uh, with two minutes of some left, uh, work for at least one goal, probably go for it with about a minute left. And then get possession again, try and get it closed down and get a second possession this half. 
And I think that little crowd right there is saying, you better pay attention to number 11 in the white. Because he's been killing him. He's been playing. Garris has been just extremely potent. Got four goals today. Van Stelton three all in the first quarter for Rogers. You think that young man is working hard? Look at that head. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Kira's family's been involved in OPC lacrosse for a lot of years, both the boys and the girls program. I was talking to his mom a couple weeks ago. This is the last one. They don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> no more sports to go to. Okay, so OPC now. Be, be patient. Don't run and gun here. Get the ball to the right guy who's open. If that happens to be curious, good for them, but don't force it. Yeah, you want to take advantage of what you've worked up in the timeout. Yep. Don't give it right away. Be patient. Now, Rogers is coming out with the pressure defense. They're not going to let him sit back and just possess. They're going to put pressure on him at all angles. Pass in front was broken up. Loose ball, and Rogers oh. has it. Hoffman with it. It's the pass out to midfield. And Amon controls it there. Shot away from in tight and a goal. Bourne scoring again for Rogers. And now they his, have their first three goal lead. That's his second goal of the day, isn't it, John, I think? Yes. Nice play, nice shot. Got it right over the left shoulder of, of Peterson, the upper corner. I was going to say, you know, well, maybe it's time to possess, but if you got numbers in a fast break situation, you got to take advantage of it, and they did. And like you said, their first three goal lead here now. That could be big, Dan, if, he, if it, they can hold this lead at eight to five going into halftime and have that three goal cushion. You know, we know that goals can come in a hurry. We saw that. You and Steve Thompson during the, the Armstrong Champlin Park game on Monday and Champlin scored what the four goals or five goals in the first two oh two in the third quarter and they went from a couple down to a couple ahead and they went on to win the game. Yeah, did a nice job. They finally woke up. It's been a problem with them all year, but coach was happy they won. Oh he had it. Yeah. Whistle here. Officials are going to confer. I think the was the referee on the far end of the field blew it, and uh, the near guy wasn't agreeing. But they talk about it here, so it'll be OPC possession. I think there might have been a hold or a push behind the play. Coach Ficken is asking for another explanation. Okay, here we go. We got the same thing going on with OPC. Okay, so what? You're down three goals. You can make that up. You're good enough to do that. But get one here. Don't force. Work it so you got an open guy. Here comes Compton. Here Compton in with a shot, and it's stopped in close and trying to keep possession with Trokill, and he does. He's getting pushed all over, and Trey Trokill keeps possession, still has it. Puts it in front. Oh, and oh. Peterson just got a piece of that. Bourne back behind the net for Rogers, trying to hold off Sam Shaleen there for it. And it's Osseo Park Center that had control just briefly and then whacked out of the stick, whacked out of the hands of Bourne. And it will be Osseo Park Center possession as Jake Jensen, or excuse me, as uh, Nathaniel Love will put it in play for OPC. Now it's Peterson getting the pass out to midfield. Going down and getting back up is Compton. Compton on the loose. It's the pass off. And then off the stick of Plumhoff, who's got to chase it down. The pass to the middle that's picked off by Rogers as Bauer has it. And back comes Rogers. One last push, final seconds. Have to get a shot away in a hurry. Whistle, timeout for Rogers, but just three seconds left. The Kyle Ficken. Well, we'll see if he draws up a play here. I don't know if there's one with three seconds left on the clock he can run, but uh, they're going to try and get it to uh, one of their better shooters. 
and let it go wherever he's at. Nice defensive play by Rodgers there, though. They really, they plugged up that middle every time Osios tried to go in there, with the exception of Curious, obviously, who's had magic all over him today. Uh, these last few minutes, they've really stopped him down, and OPC wasted opportunity, and they've got to, they'll have to fix that in the second half. Park Center, Osseo Park Center will be home here at Park Center Monday night. They'll take on Totino Grace. Rogers on the road. They'll play at St. Cloud on Monday at Husky Stadium. St. Cloud State University. But Dan, you'll be with us for Osseo Park Center Totino Grace girls. On I Monday will. Yes. Or at Osseo. Can't wait, it'll be the first girls game of the year. Can't wait to see it. OPC is having a pretty good season, John. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them. Go. Yeah. There's a lot to happen in a hurry, and it's not enough time for Rogers to get anything set up, and that'll be the end of the first half. Rogers has led most of the way, and they've got their biggest yeah, lead of the day. Here at halftime, it's 8-5. Rogers on top of Osseo Park Center. Take time out. We'll get some first half highlights. Second half of play coming up. You're watching High School Boys Lacrosse on CCX Sports. The color in my garden keeps the pink of my cheeks. I was very independent until I could take care of myself. I fell and I had to have meals on wheels. They're my savior. My name is Lola Silvestri. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Eight to five, Rogers leads. Osseo Park Center at halftime at Park Center on a just beautiful Saturday oh, yeah. afternoon in May. The Rogers Royals getting on the board first. It only took them, Dan Ficken, a few seconds to get on the first minute of play. Michael Van Stelton scoring. Osseo able to answer quickly. It's been a good big first half for that guy, number 11, Chris Curis, but Rogers able to score. Van Stelton. Putting another one in. The first one was from O'Neill. There's Van Stelton again. Rogers gave uh, up some goals after turnovers. Curious with a great play on that one. To be able to score. Here's Van Stelton's third of the first quarter. And they were up 4 3 after one. Pass there. And the second quarter goal from Bourne. Curious. Answers at 504 to make it five to four. Rogers though gets three of the final four goals of the first half. That one came from Carroll at Curious making it 6-5. The last two belong to Rogers. O'Neill here with his second. He had the first goal of the game. Scores here. And then 40 seconds later, Bourne. A good transition play by Rogers getting it downfield quickly. Positive in the net to make it eight to five in favor of the Rogers Royals. Thoughts, Dan? I like the first half. I thought both yeah. teams played well um, offensively. They're doing a lot of things right. Um, it should be an interesting uh, second half. I uh, think it's going to be a very close game all the way down to the end. We'll take time out. We'll come back. Second half of play coming up. Rogers, Osseo Park Center, points across on CCX continues after this. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Eight to five, Rogers leads Osseo Park Center High School boys lacrosse today on CCX. John Jacobson and Dan Ficken here at Park Center High School. 
Well, then OPC is the team down with three goals. What do they need to uh, change around here in the second half to, to pull out a victory? Okay, smart possessions in the offensive zone. They're getting the turnovers. They're getting the ball. Don't throw it away. Don't take bad shots. Be smart. Work it and just build. Take one goal at a time. Rodgers, stop turning it over and start sliding more to Chris Kuras. You've got to stop him. You've got to bring a double-team slide to him coming off the side there. Those will be the two biggest changes that have to come between both teams. And a position wi possession win here for Rodgers. Jake Jensen has it. Give it up on the pass to Garrett Carlson. Here's Melstead, he's back behind the OBC net. Good feed, O'Neill's got some room, and uh, that hole closed in a hurry on him, and he went down, but well, that brings the whistle. He got a nice move, he should have let it go about right there. Right. Didn't quite have it, and that, that is a push from behind with possession. And I think there will be a penalty on that, 30 second penalty on OPC. He waited a little bit too long. Patience is a good thing, but sometimes it isn't. Right. <laughs> and he got whacked for it. You know, the one factor we haven't talked about either, it's a, it's a pretty warm day here. And uh, OPC had a pretty intense game last night. And although Coach Nelson said he's had more depth on this team and he's had in years, uh, we'll have to see how they hold up here as this game moves on into the fourth quarter. So Rodgers has possession here with a man up. They scored on the last one they had, so. We haven't had a lot of penalties in this game, no, John. No, no, right. You know? Love comes off here. All right, here's Connor O'Neill starting it out for Rogers. Pass too high over the <sighs> head of Jacob Bourne. And it's right over to Osseo Park Center. Well, certainly not something you want to do, a man up and oh, no. give it away just a couple of passes in. Yeah, well, PC, be patient. I'll just possess it until you get your man back and then go on the attack. Palmoff, nice little reversal by yeah. him, heads up field. Palmoff with a good run across midfield. Still with it, pass ahead, deep left side and handled there by Caleb Love. Love, oh, and good knock away from him from behind, and that was Bauer that created that turnover. Now Rogers on the attack. Still a man up, a shot and a goal. It's Van Stelton on his fourth of the game to make it 9-5. Well, they had numbers here, and they were still a man up, but they had numbers here. They just opened the middle for Van Stelton, and you really can't do that, obviously. I mean, we can see how he can shoot. Skittered it in between the, the, the legs in the five hole on Peterson, but, you know, Peterson almost got that one and dribbled in. And uh, But Van Stelton, again, you know, we talked about him getting timely goals, and uh, to get that one, to get out to a four-goal lead now is big. He scored the first one in the first half and scored the first one here in the second half. The biggest lead of the day for Rodgers. Royals up four now at nine to five and with possession again. Now, if you're smart, you possess and you possess as much as you can here throughout this half. You've got a nice lead. You know, uh, yeah, you know you can score, but don't push it. Run some time off the clock. Make OPC play defense here and get that tired out. O'Neal, short pass. Shot hitting the side of the net off the attempt by Bourne. Rogers though, keeps possession. Here comes Matuzic. Van Stelton out of Mertz, back to Van Stelton. To Matuzic, good short pass. Knocked away though, and Osseo Park Center has possession. It's Musial. The row PC, and then lost. And Rogers gets the takeaway. It's Van Stelton with the ball again. Mertz. And a great takeaway by Musial. Got the stick right in front of that pass to pick it off. Pass ahead comes out to midfield. Caleb Love trying to push it ahead. Whistle against OPC though, and O'Neill 
with a nice little move. He's got possession here. Player coming from behind and knocking it away. The Shaw Tarley. But offside on OPC. So that'll be another penalty. Now they've been a man down the whole time. That must have been at least a two minute non-releasable penalty for that. That was a little bit more than pushing from behind with possession. I think they called the cross check. Now Caleb Love also yeah. down. He just came down. So I like what Rogers did that last time. They tried to get it into the middle. It's a good shooting position. They should have been able to once they spread that zone out a little bit more, but uh, it was more of a force pass. They had the right idea, just bad execution on it. Rogers really chance to take advantage of this. And Matuzic has it full right out of his stick, but still possess fans. Stelton with a pass across, shot away, but wide by Bourne. And Bourne frustrated and missing the net here with a golden opportunity. Pass in front, that shot missed the net. Out of play, I'll go over to Osseo Park Center. Nice hustle by OPC to get the possession back on that. Well played. You know, Sam Shaleen, who was the one hustling back for it and gets it back for his team. Plumhoff starting it out. Peterson. Now to midfield. And I'm all taken back by Rogers. Here comes Trokill. Lost. It's back to OPC. Compton on the run. Feeds a pass off to the right side. Nice play there to slow, just slow things down. It's Brash, Brash. with it. Yeah, real smart play there. Now they can get settled and start whittling away here at the lead. Now they got plenty of time here now. They don't have to rush anything. Garrity with it. I know what he's thinking, but that's a long pull on it. You're not going to have a lot of success dodging against the long pull. Get the slide to come to you. Move the ball to where the slide came from. Played four minutes here in the second half. Rodgers has the only goal to go up nine to five. Shot away and a good save. Hoffman able to make the stop on Lingison's shot. Boy, he did a nice job there, too. And after he made the save, too, it dropped down, and he reached out. Now watch him. He'll keep one foot inside the crease there. If he steps outside the crease to get that ball, he can't go back into it where he's protected. Very smart play by Hoffman. Mertz with it for Rodgers. Behind the nest, pass comes in front, but missed Matuzek on the attempt. On the pass from Melquist, out of play, it's over to Osseo Park Center. Here comes OPC with Plumhoff. Boy, protected that ball really nice. Knew how to cup it in the right spots to keep it away from the double team he just split. Brash feeding it back to Garrity. Garrity turns and fires wide. Uh, good idea. They were stacking up in front to kind of clear out the way so Garrity could make a dodge and come around on him and get a shot, which they somewhat accomplished, but not quite on the mark. But I like that play. That, that, that's good thinking. There it is. Pass in front, firing a shot and a goal. Great setup, and Anders Kuhn able to score. And Oscar Park Center gets his first goal here of the second half. Right there. Beautiful play by Garrity. You can see that slide coming. You see the 2D two, two, two there coming after him? Wide open, pretty pass right into the wheelhouse, and he just rips it. Beautiful play by OC. OPC. That's the best offensive play they've set up today so far. It was planned, well executed. They keep doing that. They'll get right back into this thing. And again, off of Rogers' turnover out front, that big pass across the top of the net. Possession here for Rogers. 
Well, trying to gain some of the momentum back or not give Osseo Park Center any more, Dan. You get one, and well, you don't want that to snowball if you're the team that's ahead, and all of a sudden the team's right back in it. Not yeah. that you're out of it at down three goals, but, you know, he'd like to keep this at three or more. Take away hope. Take away hope. The longer you hold the lead, the more hope you take away. I like OPC's defense right now, though, John. They're, they're playing with some intensity. Another poor to choice. Sideline, turnover. Oh. Rogers keeps possession. That was close. That was really close. Melquist getting it right back in play. O'Neill had a little trouble with that ball on the ground and take it away by Nizuel of Otsio Park Center. Yeah, funny thing about passes, when they go on the ground, they turn dangerous and you generally tend to lose possession. Nizuel feeds it back to Jensen. Excuse me, to Love. And now it's cross midfield, still with it is Compton. Compton, all surrounded by black jerseys, finally able to give the pass up to Brash. You hear the Roger coaching staff yelling, Ward, Ward. And that one oh missed. It's a missed pass for Osseo Park Center. He got by Curis. Here comes Rogers, Carlson. Now he'll hold it up to O'Neill. Moving in, firing a oh. shot, a good save by Peterson, stopping the shot from Alex Carroll. He scored from about that range in the first half. But Peterson is time able to make the stop. I, I I just love Peterson. I just think he's great, man. He gets his body out. He ain't afraid of nothing. He sticks his nose in there. He's been hurt, and he just doesn't care. He gets in front. He's made some great saves for his team. Garrity, who had an assist in the last goal by Coombs a few minutes ago. All right, we'll see what OPC sets up this time now. They probably pop somebody into the middle here. You see how they're out perimeter? Garrity getting the pass where he wanted to. Coombs this time unable to handle it. And then a takeaway back by Osseo Park Center. Ends up into the cross of white. This, uh, Rogers had started upfield, but the knock away from behind. Here comes Osseo Park Center setting up again with Brash. Yeah, they've had success working from behind in the exposition. They're going to do it again. Pass in front and broken up, and Hoffman has it. The goalie for Rogers. I think Brash trying to get across to Garrity, though, but the goalie's got his big basket up there and in the way. Tough pass to midfield, not controlled by Rogers. Osseo Park Center has it again. Here's Coombs. Coombs makes a little bump and then another one from Matuzic. That brings a whistle and a flag, two flags now. Two flags down. One of them might be an unsportsmanlike here, I think. A little commentary on the referee here. I think we got an illegal body check as the first one, and then we got in a. Yeah, okay. conduct in. Yeah, in a push with possession. 32nd and a 32nd, I think. So two men down for Rogers here. Golden opportunity for the, for OPC. I almost said that word, John, that old word. Darn it. Orioles? Yeah. <laughs> Most of the guys would, would like that name. Usually will definitely take exception. Let's see what OPC can do. Lingerson gives it up on the pass. Here's Curis with four goals in the first half. Lingerson fires it high and wide. Still with Otsio Park Center. But also by Rogers, couldn't quite get there in time. Caleb Love will put it back in to play here for OPC. Yeah, good hustle by Hoffman. He gave it a shot, but. We get a, a time before ball was put back into play by Rogers here. They take time out, 2.50 to go, and 
you know, Figgins definitely wanting his team yeah. not to give up one of it all possible here in the last 15 seconds or so of being right. two men down. They work so doggone hard to get a three goal lead. They want to do everything they can to keep it and then just settle this defense down. It's tough when you're two men down because you, know, you don't practice being two men down. <laughs> you practice being one man down. So it kind of alters your defense. And when you play a zone, you've got to be very quick because they got a two man advantage over you and they can open up somebody on either the back door or in the middle. And OPC coming from behind, you either work the come around one side, go to the back door on the other side, or you look for somebody coming down the middle, a cutter. That should be open in that zone because you spread them out so far. They don't have enough guys to cover the territory. So we'll see if uh, uh, Coach Fick can get the defense assembled so they know what they're supposed to be doing here in OPC. Um, going to have to make something happen fairly quick here. Nine to six late here in the third quarter. Rogers has not given up the lead at all. Led one nothing, and Osceola Park Center came back and tied it at one and three. But other than that, it's been Rogers in the lead throughout the day. Took the lead for good, at least at this point. At late in that first quarter on Van Stelton's third goal, they made it four three. So again, a reset. Rogers still two men down here as Osceola Park Center puts back into play. Watch for number 11 for OPC. Shot away, but wide. Now he tried to sneak around to the back door on the left side there, so let's see if he moves around and switches with the extra. He's coming back down around. Rogers back in full strength in. Shot away, and that goes wide. Off of Lingison, stick out of play. Still OPZ possession. Missed the net there. You can't let him get his arms extended and fire like that. Here comes Curious in tight, a shot and a goal. No goal. Oh. Fell in the crease. He was not pushed in. He fell into the crease here. You can see it. But, you know, there's the guy you want to get the ball to right now. He's been hot, but you'll see he just kind of fell in. And once he crosses that crease line, that's a no goal. Correct call. That's nine to six. Rogers possession. Good effort, though. Caleb Meadows is into the game. Number three for Rogers. Just gave it up on the pass. Now it's back to Connor O'Neill. One thing I like about Rodgers, too, the scoring's been spread out. A lot of guys have gotten the event. Stelton's gotten his share, but a lot of guys have gotten a piece of it. Whistle is, is not going to go unnoticed. Well, there was, a, down. there was a legal push to begin with from Rodgers. Look at it again. Yep, play right there. That's legal because he didn't hit it from behind, but watch what happens here. Cross check across the back coming through. Yeah, that'll be a penalty. That's one thing I love about contact sports, John. They can get a little intense. But you got to be disciplined. You got to control yourself. Daniel Mertz will put it back in play here for Rogers in a moment. Two minutes, Dan. Yep. Went to the neck. I don't know if he said unreleasable, but I think it might be. Actually, Van Stelton that'll start out this possession here for Rogers. After the whistles, let's see what Rogers sets up. Mertz, Van Stelton. He got time, Dan, here with being OPC down the man two minutes. Work for good shots, get good passes. That's what they do here. Yep. Good shot. Peterson makes the save. Nothing wrong with that possession. Just a good save by the OPC goalie in possession now for Osseo Park Center. Yeah, pushing behind without possession, so it changes, changes possession. So, again, Mr. Peterson stepping up to the plate here is the goalie. Pass too high here. And that midfield, Van Stelton gets the ground ball and gets possession back for Rodgers. 
Pass to Mertz, missed on it. <laughs> it's over to Osseo Park Center. Just couldn't <laughs> control the pass from David Bauer. Well, they've done Forced some, error, and it's back over to OPC. Yeah, Rogers has done some really good things. They've got the lead, but these unforced errors, sooner or later, are going to come back and kill you. Well, Mertz yeah, nice coming back, Mertz. though, doing a great job yes. to get it back. Took it away from Shaleen. Whistle and yeah. he's having trouble with. I think something happened there in the bench area. Well, I think it sounded like he, the referee, was saying something that they're getting a little too much, too much back grief? talk oh. from the sideline. I don't see if they're going to call anything here. There's timeout here with 39 seconds to play in the third quarter. Be careful chirping at the refs. You know, just talk to them, ask them questions, ask them what they saw, and just leave it at that. They're in control of the game. You coach, let them ref, let your players play. <laughs> All these nice words of wisdom from Dan. Yeah. Monday, I mentioned our next lacrosse telecast OPC and Tutino Grace girls lacrosse. And then Tuesday, we've got a doubleheader at Lake Conference. Wyzetta and Minnetonka from Wyzetta High School. Girls at 5.30, boys at 7.30. You can see it live on our live stream link here on the CCX Sports. Folks, if you want to see some good lacrosse, I'll tell you what, tune in Tuesday, really, seriously. It is, get the live stream. Uh, Wyzetta is the real deal, and Minnetonka's got a very good team. They will be a very, very good set of lacrosse games. Wyzetta's ranked number five in the state. They're the team that... Uh, Likely would be the number one seed in section eight when the playoffs come in a little, over three weeks. St. Michael Albertville may have something to say about that, but uh, certainly a chance for Wayzata to, to get back to state. But that is coming up on Tuesday when they take on Minnetonka here on CCX. So out of the timeout, Van Stilton with the shot that gets blocked. And to get it back, really battling Musial for it there. And taken back by Van Stelton. Well, good two-man ground ball war there. First man in moves the man. Second guy comes in and gets the ball. Well played. That's textbook. Here's O'Neal. Oh, nice pickoff. Oh, my. He's able to take it right away on the pass intended for Matuzic. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Wow. Not Super. much scoring in the third compared to the first two quarters. One goal aside, Rogers has a three-goal lead. It's nine to six. Royals leading OPC. We'll take a final break. Come back fourth quarter here on CCX after this. I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities. And this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. I rescued Toes from a shelter in 2011. I love Toes because she's a lazy diva. Toast does whatever she wants, obviously. She's sleeping right now. She's an epic snuggler. She's so comforting. She's so loving. Toast makes me laugh. <laughs> when I walked into the shelter, I knew right then that she was special. Ready to go with the fourth quarter. Rogers, Osseo Park Center. Boys lacrosse. John Jacobson with Dan Fick. And 9 6. Rogers continues to lead as we start the fourth quarter. Still Just holding the three goal lead, Dan. And had a four goal lead briefly. But to, to their credit, did not let that mushroom in the rest of that third quarter, the last half of the 
the period to let uh, Osceola Park Center get any more on the board. Well, I think you made a good point there as we closed out that, that last quarter. I mean, they're not a lot of scoring. Defenses have definitely picked up the pace here now. We haven't had the goalies have to make spectacular saves because the defense is just tightened up on both sides. So uh, we'll see if that continues here in the quarter. Not on many seconds left, but uh, Rogers is still a man up here as they start the fourth quarter. I would expect once that ball leaves the goalie's hands, you'll see a double team coming on the ball carrier here with him being a man up. And a pass comes across and then take away by Rogers by Trokill. Trokill able to turn it back for the Royals. Now they got possession, good strong run up the middle. Pass on the right, Bourne with a shot. That gets stopped up in the air. I think that hit the pipe. Love, yeah, Love tried to get it, but Bourne gets it back for Rogers. To Carroll. I like this. This is smart. Got three goal leads, fourth quarter. Don't push the effort like that. Into traffic when Derek Fisk wouldn't lost the ball. Good take away for OPC. They look to start a comeback. And slipping and falling. The pass was behind Tarley and didn't have a chance to get that one. So Oscar Park Center gives it right back to Rogers. Fisk to Bourne. He'll hold it. Channeled there by Shaleen. Off to Mertz. Shot away and fired high. And out of play by Kyle Bloom. Oh, excuse me, it was 18, not 8 by Fisk. Yeah. And now Fisk has it again. The man Stelton, he's been dangerous today. They work it around, Bourne. Well, stand back out. Carroll. This coming in. Good pass, good short passes here. Melstead. And a ward off love here. Gets himself free. Pass out. Carroll moves in. We'll back out. This is a good work by Rogers, Dan. Being patient, making good passes, not forcing anything here. You've got that three goal lead. Carroll takes a shot there, but maintains possession, gets it to Van Stelton. Musio working on him defensively. And this pass off the stick of Horn and out. And just as I say that, a couple passes later, they give it away. He did work some time off there, though, on that possession. We're down to 9.22 to play here in the fourth. Well, obviously it's the strategy, but Rogers just, you know, work the clock, work the clock. And of course you don't want to turn over, but I would expect an OPC all through their defense to start putting pressure on the ball wherever it is. So they can't sit there and just play possession all day. And of course, that sometimes will open things up for the offense when you have to play that way defensively, Dan. Well, your three goals done, you got to do something. Right. You can't oh, yeah. let them hold on that ball. Lingison gets past Bourne. All right, we can see some discipline here now. We saw him put together a couple good goals off of plays, and that's the way to go here right now. Unless you know you can beat your man on a dodge, set the play up, move the ball, and be patient. Compton with it. A couple shot attempts in the first half. No goals yet. Trying to work his way in in the scoring position here. Rogers right on to offensively. Reverses again, gets a shot away. And Compton got a piece of that or just went wide. It's uh, Osceola Park Center that'll retain possession back behind the net. Work it back into play. Another shot away. And a save by Hoffman. Well, Hoffman, I think he'd do a little bit more bounce passing rather than right at him, uh, change the bounce shots. Nearly a giveaway for Rodgers. O'Neill gets it and it bounces ahead all the way ahead into the stick of Bourne with a shot and a goal. Nearly turned over a couple times by Rodgers and then 
quickly a few seconds later down the field goes Jacob Bourne. The junior attack scores. Goes to make his, it 10 6. Goes to his left hand here and rips a shot right into the upper corner. Nice play. And they had numbers. You know, it, yes, they want to play a possession game, but if you get enough for a fast break opportunity, I don't have a problem with them going and getting a shot on goal and Jacob Bourne having a good day. Again, you know, the one difference is Rodgers is spreading that ball on. A lot of guys are getting scoring opportunities. I mean, Chris Kears, God bless him. He's done a great job, but boy, they really shut down Carter Compton and uh, uh, Damon Lingerson. And uh, Coach Ficken said that before the game. They were going to focus on those two guys right. and shut him down. They've done a good job doing it. Born with his third goal today. Rodgers for the second time with a four goal lead, and now we're under eight minutes to play. Really in control. Carlson. With possession off to Jackson Melquist. And we got then, a penalty flag down. Yeah. Then Stelton with it. His shot away. And a nice save by Ben Peterson. And now we get the whistle. That was a nice save by Ben Peterson, by the way. Ben Stelton getting in that close and letting him wind up like that. That was a pretty play. Now it brings the penalty into effect. So. Get a good look at here. Van Stelt, great move here. Gets the arms extended and just rips it. You can see he get his whole body and fairly, you know, what I would say close for a shot from Van Stelt. And boy, Peterson was all over it. Nice play by the goalie. Van Stelt, the pass to Mertz. We'll begin another pass from Tuzak and off the crossbar. A good pass from Connor O'Neill. And Rogers a man up here. Pass for Van Stelton. Handles the high pass, and Peterson makes another stop. I think both goalies played well here, Dan. Yeah, absolutely. Rogers being aggressive here and trying to force a turnover on the pass, and they do. Nice work. O'Neill, oh. great pass, a shot away, and missed it in still Rogers' possession. Oh, that was a nice give and go situation there. Great play by Rogers, but couldn't bury it. Pete, I mean, that, that young man's going to get a nice hot shower when he gets home and probably put his feet up. Get that ball. Up. Loose ball. The pass was deflected by Bryce Donahue up into the air. But the ground ball picked up by O'Neill, and Rogers retains possession. Six and a half to go, and it's Peterson another stop. He'll clear it to midfield. Now he's had some good saves, but some unable to get a good passes coming yeah. out of that sometimes. And there's one there, and a turnover is back to Rogers. A little bit of a panic there, a little bit too much adrenaline in the throw, and overthrew everybody. He made a great save. Bad, bad shot selection by Van Stelton right there. Just should not have let that go. He was too far out, and Peterson saw it all the way. No, we'll change possession. OPC. Yep. No, OPC is Park Center. So they do keep possession after the Peterson save. They're back at full strength here. But they're down four goals with just over six minutes to play here in the fourth. Is curious of the big first half scoring for Osseo Park Center. I like the fact they doubled him. And if he touches the ball, number 11 touches the ball again, it's going to be uh, probably two guys on him right now. Garrity's pass picked up by Lingison. Lingison and Hunter Hansen defending him. He turns and scores. And Osseo Park Center's got that seventh goal. What a nice play. What a nice move. He knew he had one on one here. See it come around. He fakes the pass and he just kind of gets around and shoots and he fooled everybody, including Hoffman, the goalie. You know, those are the kind of things that kind of make him a little bit of a standout player there when you look at overall. And they need him to get going here. Lingerson is team high 13th of the season. 10 7, now 5.46 to go. Still time to go here for Osseo Park Center to. About to come back. It's face off so crucial. Got to hold. Got to give possession to Rogers. So. Pick it up and go. Pick it up and go. 
Jack White, the face-off guy for OPC. Good battle there. He's held on to uh, the Rogers player a little too long. Abel with it. He able to get the pass to Bourne. Shot stop, loose ball. Oh. And gathered in by Peterson. Peterson, good pass yes. here. Able to get the release to Donahue. Caleb Love, number seven in white. Love trying to get away from McCarthy. Give a pass up and does here to Garrity. Garrity to Curis. Uh oh. Curis comes, turns, and scores. And it's 10 to 8. Mr. Producer goal. Look at this. Look at that. Backhanded down low. Just a great shot by Chris Gears. Everything he's touched today has turned to gold. So here's the deal, OPC. Get the ball in his hands. He's been just a monster today, a beast. Four goals in the first half. This is his first here in the second half. Five in the day, and OPC as close as they have been since it was seven to five with three minutes to play in the second quarter. Can they sustain it? And they get possession back. Here they come again. Pass. Garrity unable to take it, but Love has it. They'll be patient with it. Now you don't have quite so to worry quite so much about the you know, rushing things. You're within two, Dan. You're not yep. down four anymore. Work for a good play. Linus yes. passing in front. Curious didn't get much on that. And Hoffman with it for Rogers. Now Rogers key to make good passes here and get a long possession if they can. And even better if he can end up with a goal at the end. Do your goal. Yo, do Cross the midfield. Ball. It's Mertz on the excuse me, it's a, there. Yeah, it's Hoffman still with it before he retreats back to his goal. Able to get the pass behind the net to Jacob Bourne, who's had a good game scoring and shot away. Peterson got a Stop on it. We get a flag, a whistle. I think this is going against OPC, but we'll find out in a moment. Yep, no, coming around. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. Cross check in the neck. So the handy glove will come out. And under four minutes to play now. Rogers nursing a two goal lead. Nate Love again. I don't know if that's a minute or two minute. They're kind of questioning how much time is there. If it's that's two minutes, it's unreleasable. So, boy, that's a blow. Uh, and Rogers got to be smart here. This is where now these turnovers we've, we've been talking about are where they're going to kill you. Got a man up. Take advantage of it, but make sure it's a good shot. Van Stelton to Matuzic. Back to Van Stelton. Bourne with a shot. Fender got a stick on that. So he wasn't able to get a clean shot away. I think there was Jack Johnson for Osseo Park Center, and OPC has it. Yeah, Bourne should have had his head up, and I think the coaching staff's looking at it. At Matuzek is on the back door, wide open. Nobody was open, and Bourne hitting the side of the net. That just is a favorite OPC. Not a good choice of shots. Time out on the field, 317 to play. Osceola Park Center trailing by two here, trying to get to four and three on the season. Rogers three and one coming in. Well, it's been a struggle for OPC. That game last night gave them a lot of hope, you know, and these kids battled back and, and beat a team that, uh, like we said, they were trying to capitalize on it today. Now, the only question I got is they played last night. It's hot out there. We're in the last three minutes of the fourth quarter here. But they're certainly capable of scoring two goals, John. I mean, they got enough firepower to do it. Rodgers still have not solved the turnover problem. And they got to be astute and tight on defense. And Mr. Hoffman will probably have to step up a couple times here before this game's over. 
and make some saves for the Royals. Peterson's done an outstanding job for OPC. Yeah, 317 to go. Uh, man up still for Rogers. Uh, we'll see what Rogers has come up with. I really liked OPC's aggressive defense too, John. You see how far out they came and they were really pressing on the on the the ball as it moved around. It's possession for OPC. OPC yep. Compton has it. He's going to be facing a double team right off the bat. So we'll see what he does. He's going to break it or he's going to try and pass through it. Compton. It's past both defenders and still has possession Great here for job. OPC. On the run, knocks past another defender, shot away. And it goes wide. And a play will stay with OPC. Boy, Compton with a great individual effort there to get away from the two defenders and race downfield. Osseo Park Center put it back in play. Yeah, it was under, pretty. Under three minutes to go now. Here's Curious. He's been dangerous as we've seen here this afternoon. And you see now they're putting two players on. In fact, they're pushing with, with the man up. They're, they're going to bring two guys onto the ball carrier at all times. and try to force that situation. And they, they forced the turnover. Back comes Rogers with David Bauer. Shot away, and it's in. Peterson thought he had it measured, but Bauer able to slip it in, and a big goal for Rogers. It looked like and a five the senior, David Bauer, the big goal. I love it. I love long sticks by God, and when they finally get a chance to rip it, they generally do. And, and with that big stick and that big angle, he went high-low and got it right in between the legs and beat the basket down to the legs of uh, Peterson. And you see how dejected Peterson is. He knew that was a big, big goal. But they let the long pole come all the way down in, and he took advantage of it. Mr. Bauer, I don't know how many goals he's got. Probably not a lot, but he's a little gassed right now. Well, a big play for them to be able to, to score. Yeah, absolutely. That took a little bit of the pressure off. And now we're down to two and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Osseo Park Center does get possession here. Ocri had it and then out of play. And it's over to Rogers. So. Unable to take advantage of the face-off oh. win. OPC with a big face-off win. Just couldn't keep possession. That hurts. Ball knocked away, but then Rogers getting it right back. Uh, going back to your comment a moment ago, David Bauer's second goal of the season. That last one for Rogers. I always love it when the long pole gets a chance to score. I love it. Under two minutes to go. Rogers in control of this oh, one. Oh, boy. And Bourne, leave it up, loose ball. We're going to take it right back from Levi Plumhoff. And Rogers does. That's back into the stick of O'Neill. OK, simple strategy now. If you're Rogers possessive, if you're also pressure defense, pressure defense. Mertz has it. He'll feed it back to Matuzic. Matuzic. Well, just over a minute to go. Nice little job by Matuzic. It's away from the defender and gets it back to Mertz. To Matuzic. There. Out high to O'Neill. Carroll in front with a shot. Goes wide. 
Finally, Rogers got some ball movement. I really like the, the OPC pressure D. Mertz getting some pressure on him, but the second just going off there the block here. Now they get the double team and a little push in the back. The sticks are flying down. And possession still for Rogers. I love that. I gotta remember that the sticks are flying. <laughs> There's chaos on the field. I love it. Oh, no. They're letting them, <laughs> letting them play. play here late. Yeah. Here's O'Neal with it. Down to 30 to go. Come on. And give it up and it's turnover it's over to Osseo Park Center with 25 seconds left. Uh, so that was a good job by Rogers all the way through. I didn't like the fact that Dylan Mertz held on to the ball so long so the double team caught up with him. But all right, we'll see what Lincolnson can do here. And shot oh. that goes wide. So we're to, uh, nope, we'll go over to Rogers. Yeah, they define that as a pass, not as a shot. Pass will come up to midfield to counter O'Neill and what should be the final possession of the game. Bourne will chase it down. And the Rogers Royals will get a nice win after losing their last game to St. Michael Albertville a couple of nights ago and they and beat a quality opponent here today at Osseo Park Center and get an 11 to 8 win, Dan. Yeah, it was a good game. We thought it would be both teams on the rise, or one taking a hit and the other one getting a nice victory, but a good, well, hard fought game. And uh, I think we saw, we thought, thought we would see good offense, uh, good goaltending. Um, just the mistakes that plagued both teams prior to coming in are still there. But uh, Rogers came out ahead, just got a few more goals than OPC did. but. Uh, uh, we'll see how these two end up this season. And uh, good good game by both teams. Rogers now 4-1 and one on the season. Osseo Park Center falls to 3-4. and four. And At one time they were in the same section, but now in different sections. And they'll be in Section 5. Osseo Park Center will be for the postseason. Well, Rogers remains in Section A. As we talked about, these teams will be conference opponents two seasons from now. That will do it for our telecast today. Again, remember to look ahead on our CCX game schedule for more lacrosse coming up in the coming week. Uh, both Osseo Park Center girls, and we'll see why set up boys and girls, Katina Grace girls as well, in the days to come. For Dan Ficken and all of our great crew here today, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much for tuning in for our coverage of this one. It was a good one. The Rogers Royals on the road get a win at Osseo Park Center, 11-8 the final. <laughs>